Hi, this is Reese from Code Consortium, and here with another ANSI C video tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, this is episode three, and in this episode, I'm going to teach you if statements and control structures. Uh, an if statement is a type of control structure, and if we just go to the text edit here, I've already written this out just to save a bit of time. So, what an if statement does is basically if you want to compare something, do some kind of logical comparison and then you can act on that accordingly. I'll show you what I mean by that. So if we just type, um, if we tell the user here to enter their age, enter your age like so, backslash m, right, and then we do a scan f like this, tell it's getting an integer as shown in the previous video and pass age by reference like so then we can write a if statement so how this works is we just type if a space some brackets like that and then on the line below we put some braces in like this okay and then what we do in here we'll put our expression and then in here we'll put our code so if we have a look at this um, these are the various things that you can put inside them brackets double equals means essentially that you're comparing something if you only use one equals then what you're doing is assigning a value to a variable but if you use two equals what you're doing is checking is what's on the left side equal to what's on the right side and here's an example here on the over here and uh, it says age double equals 18 so it's asking it does age equal 18 if it does then the result of this expression is true. If it doesn't, the result of this expression is false. So if it's true, then the code within these blocks here, within these braces, can be executed. If it's false, then all of this is skipped and the code, the program continues to run down here. There's a couple of other different ones we can use, um, but I'll go through them in a while. Let's just test the equals 18 part for now. So we'll put, so we've already got the user's input. Okay, they've entered that in, so we just want to know now are they 18? If they are, we can put, yes, you can have a beer. And at the end, we'll just tell them goodbyes. Goodbye. So I'm going to save that. So that's saved to my desktop. Now I just switch to the terminal. So just make sure it's there. Okay. Just going to compile this now. Now let's run the program. So now it tells me to enter my age as expected. So if I put my real age in there, I'm not 18, so it's not telling me that I can have a beer. If we try it again, if we try say 17, again can't have a beer. But if we put the exact number in that it wanted, 18, it says yes, you can have a beer. Now that's obviously not very good, because what we really want is to make sure that you're over 18. But that's one condition you can test, or that you're looking for a specific number in your code. So notice it still said the goodbye, it always said the goodbye, but we only got the little part that said yes, you can have a beer, if that condition was true. So I entered 18, it wanted to make sure that 18 was the number entered, and then it said, yeah, you can have a beer. So the other ones we can use is this exclamation mark equals, which makes sure that the value on the left and the value on the right are not the same. So here it's asking, is age not 18? So if age is 18, this is false. So if age is not 18, this is true. So I can just show, I can just prove to you that now. We just change this here to that. So I've put not equals 18. Now if we compile it, like so, enter your age. If I type 18, now it just says goodbye. It doesn't tell me that I can have a beer. But now we've got some other ones, these chevrons here. The left chevron is the less than operator. So what's on the left should be less than what's on the right. So if I'm less than 18, um, then I, um, if I'm less than 18, then that's true. If I'm more than 18, or if I'm 18 or more, then it's false. 
and with this one this is the right chevron this is greater than so if age is greater than 17 then it's true but if it's 17 or less then it's false this one is the same except it includes the age as well so where previously this would have just been the chevron on its own and age would have to be greater than 18 so it would exclude 18 it would, ha it, would, it would only be true if it was say 19 and above the equals now means that it can be 18 and above and the same applies for the less than and, or equal to which is essentially that if the number is less than or equal to 18 then it's true so let's put this into practice here if you are greater than or equal to 18 yes you can have a beer and if we save that and test it run it so if I put 17 it just says goodbye if I put 18 yes I can have a beer if I put 19 yes you can have a beer if I put 23 whatever yes you can have a beer so whatever number you put in as long as it's 18 or greater then uh, you can have a beer now so this sits within these two braces here. You can put other stuff in here if you want. Um, so you can put more more than one line of uh, code in there. You can put as many lines as you like. So you could put, if you wanted, don't get too drunk though. You know. But there's uh, something else you can do. And that is if you have an if statement, you can type else. So if it was false, then do the code execute within these two braces here. So if you're not 18 or over, then uh, you're too young. So we're going to say, um, have a lemonade. Okay, too young to be drinking. So we compile that. So if I put 17, have a lemonade. If I put 18, oops. If I put 18, yes, you can have a beer. Don't get too drunk though. Cool. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check regularly for the next video in the series of ANSI C tutorials. For further discussion on programming, visit the forum on codeconsortium.com where you can post your questions and advice. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. See you next time.